Welcome back. In this video, we're going to understand how to configure redirects in our application. Redirects are useful when you're reorganizing your website and the URLs have changed or perhaps the site is undergoing maintenance and you want to temporarily redirect users to a different page. With Next.js, configuring redirects using the configuration file is very simple. Let me show you how. For step one, in next.config.js, we are going to add a key called redirects. This is an async function. From the function, we return an array of objects. Each object in the array corresponds to a redirect. For our example, let's add a redirection from the about page to the home page. For that, we specify three properties in the object. The first one is source. This will be our slash about route. Next, we specify the destination, which is the home route. Finally, we set a property permanent to true. This property indicates whether the redirection is temporary or permanent. And that is pretty much it. Let's now restart the server and head to the browser. So yarn dev. And I'm going to open the network tab as it is important to make note of the status code as well. Let's now navigate to localhost 3000 slash about. When we do that, we are automatically redirected to the home page. And if you observe the network request, we have a status code of 308. Permanent redirect. A permanent redirect is applicable when you're reorganizing the routes in your application. For example, slash old blog slash path can become slash new hyphen blog slash path. However, for a user who has bookmarked the old page, the old path might not work anymore. By using redirects, you're forwarding them to the new path. And this is crucial for SEO as well. Since the redirection happens on the server, there's no flash of content in the UI and the user experience is not compromised. Now you can also set permanent to false, restart the server, empty cache and hard reload, and navigate to slash about. This time, we see a 307 temporary redirect. We are basically informing that the page is temporarily redirected. For example, due to maintenance. The path should work as expected in the near future. Now 307 or 308 doesn't really matter for a user. But for search engines and crawlers, the status is pretty important. I would recommend you take a look at HTTP redirects to learn more about the topic. So this is pretty much the basics of redirection in Next.js. Now there is a lot more redirection than this basic example we have just seen. You could perhaps want dynamic parameters in your path matching. So let me paste another object corresponding to a redirect. You can see here ID from the old blog route matches with the ID in the new blog route. Apart from this, there is wildcard path matching, regex path matching, matching by extracting header information like cookies, query parameters, and a lot more. Their usage depends on the need for your application, so I will stop here to avoid making it complicated than it should be. Please do have a look at the Next.js documentation though whenever you come across the need to write complex path matching redirects. All right, in the next video, let's take a look at the final topic in this section, which is environment variables. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.